guy. Table guy. Kelly Sutherland in the world of truck wagon racing is often referred to as the king. He has a now opportunity to teach the future king how to drive a truck wagon. And if you're going to have a coach, you might as well have two of the very best. Thank you, Kelly Sutherland. Thank you, Tom Glass. To the greatest outdoor show on earth, the Calgary Stampede. 2011 marks our 99th year celebrating the spirit of the West. We honor a heritage that is steeped in the long tradition of being the very best, simply the best. The very best rancher, cowboy, rodeo athlete, friend and neighbor, even during competition. Today that tradition continues as we welcome the Calgary Stampede Ranch girls as they carry our national flag. Thank you ladies for parading and toasting the Maple Leaf here today. In the world of rodeo, our competitors start at a very early age and mutton busting can be a favorite pastime of aspiring young rodeo riders. Today we welcome young Georgia Konschuk and Colton Powell, accompanied by world famous and world champion sheep fighter Dylan Byrne, a third generation wild sheep fighter, to demonstrate today how the passion of rodeo is instilled even at a very young age. It's all about schooling the young ones. The passion is there. Their determination to someday be a Canadian champion is what puts them into the rodeo arena. And today, young Colton Powell is ready to ride the wild sheep. All right, Colton, hang on for eight seconds. The louder you cheer, the better he rides. <laughs> nice job, cowboy. Oh, we get it done. And now here's where our world champion, sheep fighter, Dylan Byrne must rush in to save the life of the sheep rider and get him out of the eye of the storm. Oh, he wouldn't pull any wool over your eyes. Nice job, buddy. How about a nice hand for Colton Powell. Someday he'll be a world champion, Canadian champion bull rider. Well, it's ladies' night. Georgia Konchuk grew up dreaming of being a rodeo star, and tonight... Georgie Kunstjuk is ready to ride for our royalty here tonight. Nice job! 
Georgia, you do that so well. She combines sheep riding with trick riding and a little bit of a stroud lay out there. How about a nice hand for our wild mutton busters and our world famous sheep fighter, Dylan Bird. Nice job, buddy. They're going to join their Royal Highnesses at arena side as we prepare for some real tough rodeo action. The athletes you're about to see embody the spirit of the West. They share the passion for a heritage built on stamina, built on courage and emotion and a love for rodeo. We welcome you to cheer them on as they demonstrate the very best they have to offer. Scott Schiffner is a Canadian champion Bull Rider, Scott Schiffner's career has spanned several years. He's been a professional. We're going to roll to Devin Maisie. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it. We're going to start things off with Devin Maisie. Devin's rodeo career has carried him to the Canadian Finals Rodeo many times. He's rode bulls in the United States. He's won bull riding competitions in Australia and Canada. And Devin Maisie today will board a bull from the Calgary Stampede Bone to Buck Program. The bovine division of the Calgary Stampede is noted for championship bulls, and today it's the bull they call Bananas. Raymond Goodman, our stock boss is with us, Keith Merrington, our rodeo manager as well. And in the arena, two of the finest bullfighters in the world, born in Scotland, came to Canada. Would you welcome the dancing man, David Sandylands, and his bullfighting partner, many time attendee at the Canadian Finals Rodeo, Mr. Scott Kern. And Scott Ray over on the far side, the big tall man. All right, Devin Macy, it's eight seconds to ride the great banana bull. That is the kind of style that Devin Macy has pocketed a lot of money in his Wrangler jeans, and that's how our bullfighters go to work. Nice job, Scott Ray, Scott Byrne, David Sandylands. Go ahead, give it up for Devin Macy, a fine champion bull rider. And Bananas, you did pretty well too. Mr. Merrington and Mr. Goodman could be proud of you. Our judging officials say it is an 84-point ride here this afternoon as we enjoy a little freestyle bullfighting. Scotty Byrne, Scotty Way style with David Sandy Lambs watching on. Nice job, Mr. Daisy. Now the trick here is to remove the bovine from the arena. You see, he's not user-friendly. He does not like it people messing in his playpen and these three bullfighters are messing in his playpen. We also have on standby a 30 plus year veteran of the rodeo business as a pickup man and bovine removal technician. His name is Gary Rental. He's mounted to my left on beautiful Palomino pony. All right, we've got that one captured. Nice job guys. He can go back to the, the hay pen and the sweet feed and the oats of the Calgary Stampede. Scott Schiffner, his little daughter, is visiting with the royal couple as we speak. And Scott Schiffner has got a bull that we featured at the Canadian Finals Rodeo. His name is Carbon Copy. He is a carbon copy of his daddy, who was a great bucking bull, and his mama, who was a mean mama cow. Scott Schiffner brought his family tonight to be with us, and we're proud to have them. Brandy and the girls, Mesa and Hadley, and we are proud to have Scott Schiffner. It was not so many years ago he was crowned the Canadian champion bull rider and many, many times contender at both the Canadian Finals Rodeo Bull Riding Division and the Professional Bull Riders Finals up here in Canada. Mr. Schiffner, as well, has ridden bulls on three continents and won money on three continents as a champion bull rider. It's a one-hand hold and a flat braided bull rope. And that is their contact with the bull. Must stay on him for eight seconds to make the ride. All right, Scotty, the family is watching. Let's put this one together aboard Carbon Puppy. Oh, Scott Schiffer, you make that look way too easy. Nice job, Scotty Byrne. David Sandyland's moved in and saved the life of another great bull fighter. How about 85 points for Scott Schiffer, the former Canadian champ. Nicely done, Mr. Schiffer. He makes a living riding bulls and ranching with his wife and family out east of Calgary about half an hour. Let's meet Jesse Torkelson. We call him the Turk. The Turk is the reigning Canadian champion bull rider. Last year at his Canadian Finals Rodeo appearance, he was the man that put it all together through six performances. You see, he's been to the Canadian Finals Rodeo 
as the tort three times and it took him three years to be the champion. It's all about how well you ride the bulls. Right now, the Royal Highnesses are getting a close-up look at in behind the chutes and what it's like. They're getting instructions from a former Canadian bull riding champion and world champion, Mr. Cody Schneider is on hand. Cody Schneider was the first Canadian to win a bull riding champion in that century and there's a young man that knows all about the sport of being a great bull rider. So up close and personal we get in that middle shoot with Jesse Torkelson, a young man that has made a lot of money in the last two years riding bulls. Just last year at the Canadian Finals Rodeo he capped off a $55,000 year as a bull rider and a Canadian champion. So the final bull rider tonight is our reigning Canadian champion. His mission is a bull that the Calgary Stampede Bullvine Division refers to as Rat Hole. You see they all numbered, they're all named, and they have great mamas and daddies that are rank bucking bulls, and that's the Born to Buck program of the great Calgary Stampede Ranch. Keith Merrington and Raymond Goodman keep track of all the bucking stock, and it's a great program that has produced world champion and Canadian champion bucking bulls and bucking horses. This bull is a rank one. They call him Rat Hole for a reason. He's mean, he's nasty, he does not like bullfighters and rodeo clowns and cowboys on his back. All right, Torque Man, it's time to torque it up. Jesse Torkelson, the reigning Canadian champion. What's the turn back, Jess? Oh, he was there. It's an eight second ride to the whistle. And that was a close one as we set the stopwatches and checked with our officials to get a score for Jess Torkelson. The easy part's over for the bullfighters. Bullfighting removal can sometimes be the dangerous part. They put their lives on the line eight seconds at a time. You can see these big friendly animals, animals that are kind of docile in the feed pen and in the pasture. When they're in your play pen, they can be mean and nasty. All right, Brad Hull, go back to the feed pen. Scotty Way, setting the trap. The bull weighs in at about 1,725 pounds. Scotty Way weighs in at about 160. When you do the math, you better have your ducks in a row. All right, Big Dave, our only Scottish born bullfighter in captivity. All right, we're going to try this in a different method. And I want you to pay off our bullfighters here today when we get this job done because these guys make a living fighting bulls and saving the lives of cowboys. Perhaps if you told him there was a whole pen full of young heifers out back, he might be more interested in playing your game. He's enjoying the attention. Never has a bull had so many cameras and media people in the same area. All right, big guy. Party's over. Time to go. Thank you to our Calgary Stampede volunteers and officials for transporting the livestock in for this very, very special occasion here tonight. Thank you guys, great bull rides. I want to thank Scott Shifter and Gavin Macy, Jesse Torkelson for being a part of our show. And you know we look forward to watching you guys as start tomorrow competing for over $1.6 million in prize money. To your Royal Highnesses, the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge, to Prime Minister Harper and Mrs. Harper, I say thank you for being a part of our Western heritage. On behalf of all rodeo contestants and all of us here at the Calgary Stampede, we wish you Godspeed on your journey and happy trails from the Calgary Stampede. <laughs> the Royal Highnesses and the Prime Minister and Mrs. Harper and Mr. Casey are now making their way towards the FEMO Center. Their Royal Highnesses will do a short walkabout and be introduced to Treaty 7 First Nation representatives. Thank you all.